So I know I've spoken before, but for those who haven't heard me speak, I uh, work in a secondary school. I'm not a teacher, but I do run um, a Raspberry Pi club. We run it uh, during lunchtime, so we've got 40 minutes. Mad scramble to get it all set up, and we do little projects. And they're just going to get the blog up. When we started, I wanted to document everything that we did. Um, because for people that are thinking about starting a club or looking at introducing Raspberry Pis, I just thought it'd be a good base to start from. We don't just look at Raspberry Pis, we look at other coding, coding things as well, like Code Academy website, which is good to start through projects, learning JavaScript. Um, have you got the video of the website? It's not working as well, is it? Is it not? Just on Safari on the computer. Or on Firefox. So I think what happened was it's gone to um, extended display, and it, 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 this needs to be on computer, okay? Because we had oh, yeah. it was displaying Raspberry Jam. So there we are, Firefox, but it's not the same. So just give, give us a moment. Okay. Um, there is a. There is a key, isn't it? You can press on the Mac and straight away it'll go to mirror displays. And we know what that is? <laughs> Silence. Because you're all, you're, all, you're all used to using Raspberry Pis, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know how to do it on a Raspberry Pi, you just don't know how to do it on a Mac. Something else to do on Windows. Resolutions come up, so yeah, it's come up. Yeah, yeah. so arrangement, mirror. Here we are. Okay, so you're all. Fab. There we go. So it's School Pie Club, that's the name we go by, and we're also on Twitter as well. So anything we post to the blog will go on our Twitter feed. Um, I try and make it as interesting as possible. We've done in the early stages, we did the LED lights with the traffic lights. We've done some time-lapse videos. We plan to do lots around school, like time-lapse videos in the corridors and things. This is the Code Academy that I mentioned, so there's different lessons that they can go through. So it's just sparking their interest in anything to do with code. Um, like the gentleman Martin mentioned before, we did a time-lapse video on an apple. Try and introduce it into like science lessons as well. If they're doing experiments, we can set time-lapse videos up for experiments as well. Flappy Bird, that got them all interested in Scratch. Because it was the day we did that was the day that he took it out of the app store, so no one could download Flappy Bird anymore, unless you did have it on your phone. Obviously, it's still there, isn't it? Just I went in and I said, "You'll never guess my highest score," and they were all waiting for me to say something amazing. I went, "It's three," and they were really disappointed. So, but my daughter's like 72, so they were impressed with that. I know there's more. So yeah, so I document everything because I thought it's good for anybody because I didn't know much about Raspberry Pis. Come here to get ideas and I try to document everything so that anybody that is starting it up, it's, it's a good starting point because there's so much that you can do with one and it's out there and it's all over so it's trying to document it. Um, one of the things that they kind of weren't impressed about was the maths game. <laughs> I did a program. Uh, if you're just doing, doing the search, Regan, at the top, just type in times tables in maths. No, no, sorry, still on our blog. So, just a bit further down. Here, search this site here. here. Nope, go back. Type in there, times tables. That's it. So, what I've tried to do, click on that first link there for me, Regan, that top one. So, I tried to kill two birds with one stone, getting them interested in looking at the code and how you can set it up in Python, but also it runs a quiz to test them with the times tables. So, you know, they were interested in seeing how that can work, but also, I had them all wanting to have a go then, so they were learning the times tables without knowing it because they'd actually programmed the code themselves. They're like, it's my turn, and it tells you the results at the end, and it tells them as they're going whether they're getting it right or not, and we had a bit of a competition. So things like that I like to look at, that they can actually learn without knowing it. So, yeah, any questions? What's nope. Next? What's next? Yeah, just talk about some ideas. Yes, at the minute, we're... Um, 
I came up with the idea at home and I thought, I wonder if they'll go for it. So I asked you last week, and I said, what do you think? Because we're, our secondary school is just over 400 students, so it's not a big capacity-wise on students, but we have, it's big building-wise. So I come up with the idea of building our version of school in Minecraft. So I said to him, I said, what do you think if we build our school buildings in Minecraft? Expecting him to go, <laughs> what a rubbish idea. They all went, yeah! So that's what we're on with at the moment, aren't we? So we're building, which we... Not, not much progress. Not much progress at the moment. We, well, we've done two 40-minute sessions, haven't we? So, but yeah, but we're getting there. We've done one block and the, the front door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think one block at a time. Yeah, yeah. Because you need to look online then. You're going to tell us something about building with Minecraft. I was going to say, like, is it only like one person doing it at a time? Or is it so have you got no, one how, how I do it, there's about, today there was about, was there about eight of us at the club today? Something like that. So the old ones have got Minecraft, so I have to set a timer. They get four minutes each, pressure. So it's like, and, and also as well, if one makes doesn't do something quite right, the next person's got to correct it. So it's really good team building, and they're all working really well together. So one of the things you can do with Python and Minecraft, I don't know if you know this, is you can you can write a program that we say we're, we're going to define a wall. So a wall has like 20 blocks along the bottom and 10 blocks high. Mm -hmm. And they say right, put a wall there, and it goes and it puts the wall. Great. And they say right, but actually it's a classroom, so it needs four walls. But you can say you could have two walls that way, one wall this way, two walls, and as you see run and it puts down the four walls of that straight away but they think oh hang on we need to put windows in so you then have to define that a wall actually has windows and where mm. a door is so you can build this up and then you can get to a point where it says right now i want 60 classrooms four of them are going to be north face and two of them will be this and and then just click run and you can stand back and it'll go and then you can make sure you put enough TNT in every room. You can stand back <laughs> and watch the school blow up, which is the best thing. So if somebody comes along to do that, I'll be really impressed and I'll give you a lollipop as a prize. <laughs> Great. Are you getting this, Jacob? Because yeah. Jacob is our founder member at school. He founded, they put your hand up, Jacob, so everybody sees yeah. you. And Jacob's got setting up his own website as well for uh, Pi Guide. Hi, is it Pi? Um, it's Pi Guide.co.uk. Yeah. So he's kind of putting together little guides and things to help people along the way and he's created an app, trying to create an app, yeah. aren't you? Have you done that? That's in Google Play. It's on our website, isn't it? Yeah. Michelle, why do you only give me four minutes? Um, well, because if they're anything like my son Regan, they spend hours at home and they just go to, they, they see four minutes isn't a long time, is it? But it's but, only four minutes because you've only got one pie. Yeah. Yeah, we've only got one pie. However, we've had another pie donated by right. Jacob's family, yeah. Is it Chris doing the web API? Do you have any other machines? No, the difficulty we have in school is the only place that I can connect it to is a whiteboard. So we have one classroom and I have to use video, I can't use HDMI. All the other ones are not really suitable to, I'd have, have to have a pie dangling. But I, I've got an adapter for the monitor, but I haven't got it fixed up yet. Right, so you've got one pie. Yes. But what other equipment have you got for the kids to use? Have you got PCs and Macs? Yeah, yeah, they have PCs in the same classroom. Right, so why can't you use one Raspberry Pi, yeah. have a way of doing the web API with yeah. Minecraft, and then they could all jump on the machine and they could all build individual sections? Oh my god. So well, that's why instead of having one person for four minutes, yeah. you've got four people, four minutes, 16 minutes. We don't have, believe it or not, we don't have Wi Fi in the room that we're in. I know. It's really difficult, yep. We don't have Wi-Fi, and for the rest of the school, I don't know if like, if it was on the servers, we can't have Minecraft in our schools, so. We do have quite a lot of obstacles, but we don't let that stop us, because we get a lot done. Take them to Wi-Fi so. Michelle. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.